What is going on guys, it is Koja here and today I'm going to teach you what NVIDIA control settings you need to have in order to get the highest amount of FPS and the best performance inside of Counter-Strike Global Offensive as well as Counter-Strike 2. Now before we get into the video guys, I have over 12 pages of P250 sand dunes and I'm going to be giving away these at the end of this video so stay tuned to the end to find out how to get your hands on some of these beautiful, beautiful skins. And also guys, I just have a message from the sponsor of today's video. Hey guys, make sure to check out CSGO Net. On CSGO Net, you can play with upgrades, trade-ups, and of course, so many different cases with extremely cool drops inside. Here is an example of one of the cases. I unboxed a pair of Shadow Daggers Doppler for huge profit. I also used their upgrade feature to get an M4A1S skin that I love while making profit with it. Withdrawing on the site is extremely easy. Simply go to your profile, find the skin that you want, and click Claim. So guys, if you want to play on CSGO Net, they have so many options on how to deposit. If you use code KOJOMO, you will get a 40% bonus to your deposit. That is insane. For those of you lucky enough, there is a limited code KOJO that will get you a 100% bonus on your deposit. Link to CSGO Net will be in the description. Alright, now that we have that out of the way guys, I'm going to teach you how to pull up NVIDIA control panel and what we're going to do in order to, you know, make sure that we're getting the most FPS inside of the game. So, go ahead and click on this window button right here and simply type in NVIDIA, right? It's going to pop up right away, NVIDIA control panel, and just click on it like that. Alternatively, another way you can do it is if you right click on your homepage, uh, show more options if you're in Windows 11, and click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, right away, guys, the first change that you're going to want to make is go to up here, adjust image settings with preview. And I just changed this, but you, for most of you, this is going to be on quality and it's going to be on uh, use the advanced 3D image settings. We're going to click on this button down here, use my preference emphasizing, and then we're going to go all the way to performance. Go down to the bottom right and make sure you click apply. This is going to make your game look maybe not as beautiful, but it's going to give you much better performance and it's, it's going to be better for your system long term. All right, so now we're gonna click on manage 3D settings. This is where the bulk of your uh, important changes are gonna be made. And I'm just gonna show you guys the values that I have and simply just use the values I have and I'll give a little bit of an explanation if, if it needs it. But for most of them, I'm just gonna show you the settings. So image scaling, make sure that's off. We don't need that. Uh, ambient inclusion, same thing, turn this off. Uh, next setting, make sure that this is off as well. The filtering, we don't need that. Um, Anti-aliasing, so uh, make sure that this is off as well. It's also the default value, so we don't need to mess with that. The gamma correction, actually leave this one on. Um, that's fine. Totally cool. And then for the anti-aliasing mode, instead of letting the application control, just go ahead and flip that off so that you don't have to worry about, you know, if any, you make any changes in CS, it might override your settings here. All right, now guys, so for a lot of you, sometimes you have apps up in the background that are taking way too much uh, FPS. You might have a game running in the background and this background application max frame rate is actually going to be your way to uh, cap the amount of power it's taking on your PC. So and flip this uh, setting on and go ahead and put it on you know 30 FPS or wherever you want to set it to so that your games in the background aren't just running at 200 FPS for no reason, you know what I mean? So. This will really help your performance if you're one of those people that have a million things open in the background. Um, make sure the CUDA GPUs have just have this on all. Um, that's fine for some of you that have multiple GPUs. Uh, it doesn't really matter though for most people. Same thing with this next setting, just leave it off. But all right guys, low latency mode. This is where you're gonna have uh, your own preference and your own feeling. But there's a lot of CSGO pros that instead of leaving this off, they have it on on or ultra. Right. And like I said, it's totally up to your preference, but I have it on ultra. I, I think that this is the the best uh, setting for this. So go ahead and play with it. Try it out, but definitely take it off of off and on one of these settings on or ultra uh, max frame rate. Turn that off. Like if you if you want to cap yourself, then put it put it on there. But for most people, man, just leave that on off uh, monitor technology. G sync. That's fine. Um, same thing for the next setting. The frame sample just leave that off leave that uh the open gl gdi compatibility on auto open gl rendering auto select and then for power management guys you're going to want to flip this on from normal to prefer maximum performance that is very important this is going to allow you to get the most fps and not worry about uh you know the power management of your uh pc or laptop so 
ref uh, preferred refresh rate, you're going to want to leave this on highest available. Obviously, we don't want to cap our refresh rate at all. And then for the shader cache size, I actually flip this onto 10 gigabytes so that it refreshes after 10 gigabytes. This uh, very interesting setting that you can flip on, but it's it's not too important to be honest with you guys. Um, texture filtering, go ahead and flip this on instead of off. Um, texture filtering negative. Um, keep this on allow, just to use the default. And then for texture filter, filtering quality, flip this on the highest performance, right? This is going to give us the uh, most FPS in the game and it's defaulted on the quality. We don't want that. Um, with the next setting, just keep it on on the texture filtering trilinear. Threaded optimization, auto, triple buffering, off, vertical sync, off. And the rest of these guys, just, just leave them how they are. Don't don't mess with them. So those are your uh, 3D settings. Like I said, that's the bulk of where your changes are going to be. But I want to show you guys what you need to do in order to make sure you're playing on the right refresh rate and the right uh, resolution in-game. And as you guys know, I've shown you how to optimize your in-game settings in multiple videos. You can check those out too um, once you're done with this one. But go ahead and click on change resolution and display. Make sure that you're on the native res with 360 hertz. Because uh, I I know it seems obvious, but sometimes a lot of people are playing on lower refresh rate than they should be. Um, and same thing, go down here. Oh, yeah, we're going to save these changes. Yes, yes. All right, go down here to adjust desktop size and position. And guys, this is where it's going to matter if you're playing on native or stretched, right? So if you are playing on a stretch resolution 4x3, 16x10, whatever, you are going to want to click full screen if you do not want black bars, right? If you want your screen to be full, like no black bars on the side, click this option. A lot of you struggle or don't know why, you know, those bars are showing up. Uh, and again, make sure you're at 360 hertz down here and that... I like to do my scaling on GPU. Um, that's that's what I prefer. Some people are weird and they'll tell you otherwise, but it doesn't really matter. Just choose GPU. Uh, and if you want black bars, just do aspect ratio, ratio right? If you're playing on native resolution, uh, 16 by nine, it does not matter which one you clicked. All right, um, so over here for, we're gonna click on adjust desktop color settings, right? And this is where we're going to mess with our digital vibrance. It's going to make the game pop out a lot more and, you know, be more appealing to us. So, uh, again, this is totally up to preference. I know players that crank digital vibrance up to 100. I know players that leave it at 60, 50. I think that the sweet spot for me is around 80% digital vibrance, right? It still gives me that pop and contrast in the game, but it doesn't take away from or it doesn't hurt my eyeballs and make me not like how the game looks right so i just leave that on 80 you go ahead and find what you want but i would recommend you know messing with it and playing with it a little bit so it's it's always good to play with uh, some digital vibrance and yeah guys that's pretty much all the settings you need and i did promise you guys some p250 sand dunes so if you got into this point in the video i appreciate you so much and i want to reward you for watching to the end I have a hundred P250 sand dunes I want to give away. So go ahead and link your Steam profile, uh, trade link, link your, you know, link in the comments of the video and tell me your favorite change about CS2. What are you most excited about CS2 next to it? And I will send these to the first 100 comments meeting those criteria. So I love giving back to you guys and I appreciate you so much. And thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.